going on, West Texas? Peter Terps are here with your West Texas pick'em. Uh, used to work there at uh, Big Two, Fox 24. Do not anymore. Um, got my dude Winston. Let's come here. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know if you can see him, but I'm trying to get him to join me. Uh, all right, let's get right to it. I'm losing some daylight, so let's do it. I live in State College, PA right now. It gets darker earlier. East Coast, Northeast, whatever you want to call it. Oh, also, it feels great here. Uh, it's like 67 and uh, no West Texas heat, so there's that. All right, um, okay, so first we got in 6A, Midland High Bulldogs and Harlegan Cardinals. I hope it's Harlegan. I don't know if it's Harlegan or Harlegin. Uh, but yeah, um, of course I'm going to pick Nip and High because <laughs> pups up, right? I got my dog with me. Um, Midland High's one and three, Harlegan's three and one, but I think this could be a good time for Midland High to turn things around. Uh, we all know that um, teams in West Texas do a good job of uh, scheduling pretty tough non-district play. Um, I'm going to go with Midland High in a close game is what my notes say. Also, don't take any of this seriously. I have no idea what I'm talking about. All right. Um, oh, Winston just went. Let's see, you see him. <laughs> full split. Went full split for the Midland High Bulldogs. All right. Balmeray, Grand Falls Royalty, two ranked teams. Everyone's undefeated. Uh, but as I said, you've never had a close six-man football game ever that I've seen. So I'm going to go with Valmoray winning big over Grand Falls Royalty. They have just been beating the crap out of everybody. Uh, there you go. Right? Um, and apparently, I guess it looks like they had a close win off of McLean last week. So maybe I'm wrong. But still, um, I think Valmoray wins big over Grand Falls in that one. Um, rematch possible in the playoffs there. All right. Uh, Leveland and Seminole. Seminole was the pick I got wrong last week, I believe. Uh, they lost to Greenwood to take their first loss. Um, I'm going to pick Seminole over 1-3 and three Leveland uh, in a close game. Um, I think Seminole you know, can learn from that loss and uh, bounce back in a big way. i got to look at my notes here. Hold on. i got one arm here. Winston's pulling me around. All right. Next up, we got undefeated Midland Lee and San Benito. Can you be here? All right, um, Midland Lee, 4-0, San Benito, 2-2. Two two. Go on Midland Lee. Yeah, big, not even close. Um, I don't know anything about San Benito, San Benito, nor did I ever hear of them when I worked and lived in West Texas. So I gotta go Midland Lee, 4-0. San Benito doesn't have a movie about them. So, or at least they're not included in the movie. I guess the movie was about Premier, but whatever. Um, and the book. All right, this last one, McCamian, El Dorado. Um, I believe it's pronounced El Dorado. Uh, I was really torn on this one. Winston. Uh -huh. I gotta say that uh, McCamian's two and two. Um, I wanted to pick McCamian. I really did because they've had a bunch of turnovers, and that's something you can fix, and you can still win. Uh, you know, fixing that. But I'm going to go with El Dorado, who has a bunch of passing yards, and that's got to be tough as a small school. Um, 13 touchdowns, 1,500 passing yards. I got to go with El Dorado. Sorry, McKamey. My bad. All right, I think that's all of my games. Just to recap, if I can, my dog is dragging me because he's so excited because we just went on a walk. Midland Lee beats Harlegan. Balmeray beats Grand Falls Royalty. Seminole beats Leveland. Midland Lee beats San Benito, and El Dorado beats McCamey. That's going to do it for me, folks. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.